Good day everyone! We are group 3 from our Polynian Education, Philosophy, and Ethics class. Our group had chat discussion regarding each individual case sent to Dr. Giwian and posted in our group's own chat. According to BBC UK, at its simplest, ethics is a system of moral principles. It is concerned with what is good for individuals and society and is also described as moral philosophy. The term is derived from Greek word ethos, which can mean custom, habit, character, or disposition. After discussing each case, we decided to present to you an ethical case which involved a love-work relationship. Our surgical ward supervisor had a relationship with a general surgery resident. They are in a relationship for more than two years. Apparently, there was a third party, a nurse who is working in the same ward. The supervisor found out that the surgical resident and the nurse were dating. During the rounds of the security last December 2016, they noticed that the door in supervisor's accommodation in Awali residence was open and the security found she was dead. Urgent care was called and the ambulance went at the scene. The staff nurse found an insulin pen near the supervisor's body, a bottle of wine, and a letter on the side stating why the supervisor committed suicide. Everyone in the hospital was shocked about the news, and everyone was called for a meeting on that day. Process of Resolution The Ethics Committee created a policy in which love-work relationship is discouraged. The surgical resident was dismissed from the surgical program of Awali Hospital, but the nurse who was the third party was retained. Values learned. The hospital must have a mental health support group in which employee can consult if they are having depression or mental breakdown or promotion for mental health well-being in which it promotes activity or bonding or the hospital must conduct mental health first aider. Are you happy with the resolution? I am not happy with the resolution that our hospital has done because 1. They have tolerated the nurse to be an employee in the hospital up to this very moment. Hospital administration must also terminate the staff who was an accessory to the crime. Mental health is crucial and plays a very important role in the life of healthcare worker. We are working in a very toxic environment, accelerating and exhausting. On any given day, a nurse or a doctor can see people at their weakest and most vulnerable moment, in which you need to find a way on how to manage the situation. Up to this very day, our hospital was a busy place where mental health is not given an importance. Would you suggest restorative justice? And why? Yes, it would help resolve the case, improve workplace environment, separating work and private life matters, disciplinary actions be given to offenders, and justice to victims. As discussed with the group, the supervisor with strong personality was an active, kind, and supportive nurse and nobody in the unit has recognized that she was already in so much pain with the resident nurse affair. Infidelity was looming in the unit since the affair was already known. Mental health support group or first aider, if available in the hospital, could have recognized and assessed the situation and would not end up in the death of the supervisor. The supervisor did fulfill her responsibilities and promised as a nurse 
because she continued working despite the depressing affair issue. There is always a concern of stigma when anybody had mental health issue, thinking that they would not be accepted as a person or in the society. Due to this, most people with mental health issue just manage the situation on their own, up to the point that they could not bear it anymore. Don't judge anyone. Sometimes the biggest smile hides the biggest scars. Most have mental breakdown due to struggles and pain. And if we can't handle it on our own, we could ask help to those who would understand us. In Abu Dhabi, UAE, during pandemic, they started doing webinar session on mental health and speed dial is readily available in case any employee needs consultation. Due to stigma, confidentiality is practiced. Well-being is checked on regular basis with active participation of employees. It would help staff to function properly and effectively, keep healthy work-life balance, and physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually healthy. The Human Resource Department are responsible of promoting a healthy environment. A part of it is the institutional policies should be updated regarding suicide or mental health at work. As a nurse, we need to be more aware of our work environment and look after our co-worker with unhealthy habits which denotes a potential need for mental health support. A mental well-being awareness campaign will give emphasis on healthcare workers. Disciplinary actions in any institution should not be biased and employees involved in the case should be treated fairly to give justice to the victims.